hotels as well and talk about how the dry spell of hotels is really affecting them. Vishal Kamal, who is the CEO, is with us right now on the show. Vishal, great to have you with us. Tell us a little bit about the impact of the liquor ban because it's a double whammy of sorts now. The industry must be under immense pressure. For you specifically, what's the kind of exposure and what's the setback? So, uh, some of our hotels have been affected by the uh, ban on the highway, but uh, I think uh, it's a matter of time. Like today morning, there was a news article uh, which uh, showed that the state government, especially in Mumbai, is denotifying certain sections of the Mumbai highway. Yeah. I think uh, the better sense is uh, understanding has prevailed on many people, whereby city in within the city, there is no highway. It is a local road which has become wide, used for traffic. So, that's something which uh, is going on right now. So, um if you do have any new projects and under consideration right now is this new regulation actually forcing you to probably reconsider any of your new projects? Definitely. Not only us, but unfortunately right. many people who have got stuck midway in mm. their hotels, they are really impacted in a big way. A lot of hotels uh, deals in terms of restaurants and uh, hotel deals where mergers and acquisitions or you know new ventures have been kept on hold and they've been reported in various parts of the press also. Uh, you know, uh, I, I know I'm dwelling on the same point, but just specifically for Kamath Hotels, can you give us sort of a percentage as to how much of a setback this entire news piece has been for your company? So in the immediate uh, knee-jerk reaction, we've had a drop in our F&B sales of up to even 70%. People wow. normally say, yeah, because people, see the thing is that people think, oh, so you sell food and this thing, but mm -hmm. it's not about food, it's about an overall experience. Yes. And people want to have that one glass of whatever they like with their mm -hmm. food. And then if they have a choice and they can go a few feet away and enjoy that or rather a few meters away and enjoy in another hotel or another restaurant, they're doing that. So that's where the challenge comes. We've become uncompetitive. Yeah, you know, we were speaking with the management of United Spirits as well and uh, you know, they were talking, brought up a point that does this really achieve the purpose or are there other means that the government can take in order to implement this? Uh, see, it may or may not achieve the purpose is, is a latter part. Okay. Today, you are punishing someone else for somebody else's crime. I think that is the main fundamental point which uh, the entire industry is asking that why are you punishing the innocent for the guilty? Go crack down on people who are doing wrong like in Mumbai and Pune, the police became proactive. It has reduced drastically fatal injuries and drunk driving. I think other states are not enforcing their uh, duties and unfortunately the blame has come on someone who is doing a legitimate business. Um, you know, I was just looking at uh, some of your last quarter's financials. Um, you spoke about a 70% drop. In Only your, in FNB. In FNB, in, of course. In FNB, in wherever our restaurants have okay. liquor, where there's no liquor, there has been no impact, of course, obviously. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, what, if I have to put this, I have to give this a number for your quarterly results or for, for that matter even your financial year results. What kind of an impact are you seeing? No impact because the okay. financial year result is over. Now we are talking mm -hmm. about April. Now considering what's going to come, we will have to see how it pans out. Okay. But I don't think Touchwood the impact will be very large. The reason being that a lot of the state highways are being within the cities where our hotels mm -hmm. are located, mm -hmm. are uh, being uh, denotified or mm -hmm. there are certain re-measurements happening because mm -hmm. of which, you know, see erroneous knee-jerk reactions were taken. True. Now they are sitting down and say, oh my goodness, sir, he's actually outside but we've brought him in by mistake. And so a lot of people are being re-measured and, uh, you know, coming out of this mess. Okay, Vishal, before we let you go, outlook on ARR's room additions, how are things looking? Uh Things aren't, uh, the coming few months are looking a little shaky in an overall perspective because considering so many things are happening in so many sectors, a lot of people are taking a wait and watch approach, but it hasn't impacted our current business right now. But May, June, July, you know, is a little long time away. So we'll have to see how it comes as in uh, nearby. Okay, good luck. Thanks okay. for joining Thank in you. and giving Thank us you. a view Thank on Kamath Hotels and what exactly the impact of the note ban is. Vishal Kamath there giving us the details in terms of financials. We'll have to wait and watch, but F&B has been hit pretty badly. 34.7 is where the stock is currently at, but I believe we'll wind it down then right here on the show. Thanks for watching. Bye now, sir. Now that's coming up.